self-help, and we have just a lot in common with y'all, um, we started in 1980, and it was started by people that were too young to participate in the civil rights movement and the women's movement, but wanted to see how do you extend those gains into economic justice. And it took them very little time to realize that they needed access to capital. And so we formed a credit union. And our first loan to a co-op was to Weaver Street in 1984. And uh, you know, I gotta tell you, I know now is a really hard time, but that presentation from NCG, I mean, this is like some of the most exciting stuff in co-ops I've ever heard. You know, because co-ops have never been about the food. You know, it's always been about the community. You know, to my way of thinking. And it, I was listening to something at my table. They were talking about transparency with their membership. It's the same thing we all say about food. We have to know where the food came from, whether it's meat, whether it's produce. You know, traceability is the key to a good food system. And, and that sort of transparency and traceability in terms of operations of your co-ops. I just think this is, this is exciting. And it's funny, I look around the room and, I mean, self-help, you know, we're, you know, we're like local government, federal credit union, we're a couple billion in assets, and we're a sister organization to NCB. But I gotta tell you, like, French Broad, first guys to pay livable wage. That's leadership. The stuff that the Durham Co-op market is wrestling with, that, like Asheville, like Fuquay, Verena, these neighbor, you know, Carborough, these neighborhoods that are wrestling with displacement, as wealth increases and there's income inequality, trying to figure out how you provide and broaden your mission. I mean, this is good stuff. I mean, this is probably, it's funny, French Broad, I mean, three decades old and then some. And like now, it's like the most exciting chapter they've ever entered into. You know, what can Weaver Street do for the entire community? Like, you know, what can Weaver Street do to make Pukwe Verena, you know, their project really happen? You know, how do we all work as sister organizations? You know, Brian at NCB, I mean, we talk all the time as sort of sister organizations. And, you know, um, I hope that we can figure out how to sort of, uh, design, you know, maybe dissolve the wall, you know, so that we're working more cooperatively with you guys, too. Um, but anyway, I'm just glad to be here. And um, I just really respect that you guys are sort of on the bleeding edge of social change. If you look at all the good stuff happening in the food system, it's co-ops that have been on the bleeding edge of that. You know, and it's, it's funny, whenever, I do, whenever I'm at a ribbon cutting, you know, for a store, you know, I always say, oh, this is really exciting and blah, 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 blah. You know, but the work is beginning. Now that we've built the building, now we've got to take the shelves. And the stuff that the people of French Bra were saying about how they're the engine for these local artisans. I mean, I think this is where that wealth building in communities as opposed to wealth extraction takes place. So. Anyway, just again, Mark and Evan Ben, thanks for letting me crash and uh, just respect for what you guys are trying to do.